Hey guys, what's up? My name is Justin. Welcome to another episode of NHL Be a Pro. Today we have something very special happening. We're going to look at the team stats and then we're going to start the playoffs in this episode. So I skipped through the two months that we had remaining. We only had a couple months remaining in the regular season. I really want to start the playoffs. I really want to start playing in the playoffs. So we're, today we're going to take a look at the team stats first before we actually start the playoffs. So let's Go ahead and take a look at them right now. So as you guys can see here, we played 82 games, obviously. Um, we got 110 points, 51 wins, 23 losses, which is absolutely insane in the Central Division. We get eight overtime losses, and regular season plus overtime wins is 47. And point percentage, you guys can see as we go along here, we absolutely did it amazing in this season so look at home and away home we got 24 14 and 3 away we got 27 9 and 5 and then last 10 games we went 6 and 3 and 1 which is pretty good and out through the entire league we came third in the entire league so i'm pretty sure we had a pretty good season overall we're gonna take a look at the player stats first um, I am second with 45 goals with 76 games played, 36 assists, th um, 90, uh, no, 81 penalty, uh, points, sorry, plus minus 15 penalty minutes, 99. We definitely need to fix that shot 344. So we took more shots shooting percentage, uh, game winning goals. We got 10 power play goals. We got 11. Power play points, we got 30. We got no shorthanded goals or shorthanded goals and shorthanded points. We got zero. Our total ice time per or our time on ice per game is 90 minutes and 48 seconds. Minutes. There we go. Phase off wins. We got 89. We didn't take any face offs. We take it 157 faceoffs. When did we take them? Because I never, we, we, I never seen them. Well, anyways, we got 74 hits. Um, one was so huge that we got um, that we got ejected from the game. Uh, you guys remember that video? Giveaways 205. We definitely need to definitely fix that. Takeaways 84. We can definitely improve that a little bit more. We got eight fights. In the entire season that we were on with Winnipeg, which is absolutely insane. So, but anyways, let's get it started. Let's get the playoffs started. Let's see who team, what team we are facing in the playoffs in round one. We're facing the Calgary Flames. Here we go, boys. Here we go. So, as you guys know, with every single video that I do with NHL Be a Pro, we play two games in a row. We play two games per um, per video. But with the playoffs, I want to play each game as we go along. So one video will contain one game. And we'll be going our regular period length, which is six minutes per period. And then the next video will be the next game, game number two of the playoffs. So you guys can see the pattern going on. We're kind of going back to our old ways, kind of with the recording. But I think it would be a lot more interesting and a lot more exciting for you guys to watch these videos if each each um, each episode had a game in it. So instead of me playing two games in a row, we're just gonna play one game in every single one. So here we go. We're gonna get started here. We're in room. Uh, we're starting at home too, which is perfect because we get the the uh, the whiteout. We get the uh, Winnipeg whiteout. Which is awesome. So here we go. We're absolutely. Um, I plan on winning these playoffs. Now we could lose. We could win. It, it really comes down to it. Um, we have to play our hardest. We have to play that we want to win, like we want to win, which we do. So we definitely need to um, play like we want to win and all that stuff. So I improved a couple of things. Our endurance is 99. Um, our endurance level is 99. And our speed is like 94 or 95. 
which is getting up to <laughs> getting up to 99 but we need like a cup we need like a year or so another season to get to that to get the number uh, 99 for our speed so I think we had a pretty we had a pretty bad shift there we only got like one or two shots on net wasn't that good so hopefully we can actually do a lot better in our next shift we got eight minutes or just under nine minutes remaining in the first period here hopefully we can actually uh actually get one here hopefully we can actually get a goal here in the first period and uh nope calgary with the goal with the lead all right it's gonna be a tough playoffs it's gonna be a tough playoffs let's see what we can actually do here let's see if we can bounce back here we've got a we still got a lot of game left we still got a lot of game left we need to take up a um the reason why I shot it at the blue line there is to get a face off in their zone so it gives us a better opportunity to score like they did. <sighs> Alright, so we're taking the face off in their zone now. Let's see what we can actually do. First, we needed to win the face off. That was the first thing we needed to do. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. Oh, come on. We didn't get the puck there either. Come on. Oh, there you go. Nice little pass back. Try to get in front of him. Try to get in front of the goalie just to at least block some of his vision. Did not work out. Okay, we need to win the faceoff here, Shifley. We're in the playoffs. We need to win these games. I want to knock out Calgary four games to none. This is, this is, not, the, this is not the way to do it. Obviously, we still have two whole periods left of game left to actually come back and actually win this so I'm not too worried I'll get a little bit worried when we go into the third period and we're like we're down by one or down by two then I'll get worried but right now I'm really not that worried because it's only the first period and we need to really fix into here and uh, get used to it so there we go pass it off to Shifley so we can get a nice clean line change and let's see what happens here. I think it's going to be the end of the first period. Oh, no. We're going on a power play for a minute and five seconds. Two minutes left in the first period. Exactly. All right. Here we go. I don't know why I, don't know why I got those face-off wins or face-off losses. Because when I was checking the stats. Because as I was playing. Because I played so many games. I played so many games um, on video. I never, oh my god, we got, we got our first playoff goal right there, boys. We got our first playoff goal as a Winnipeg Jet. There we go. First goal of the playoffs. Let's work towards the playoff MVP. Let's work towards that. That will be our goal for this playoffs is to win the Stanley Cup and to get playoff MVP there we go that was pretty that was actually pretty easy we just pretty much just potato stuffed it in right there so there we go we got a minute and 38 seconds left in the first here we are tied going into the first we're going to the second and we're going to the box oh man all right starting already better get in my systems now because next season next season I will not be getting any penalties any penalties but anyways that's the end of the first period i'll see you guys when we get the second period started all right guys we're gonna get the second period started here in the winnipeg whiteout just look at the fans i'm glad that nhl or ea actually put that in the game actually coded that into the game where like in the playoffs with winnipeg is playing they have the winnipeg whiteout because it, even though i'm not a winnipeg fan it actually looks kind of cool. Actually, looks kind of cool where everyone's wearing white. It actually looks kind of cool, but unfortunately, they score and get the lead. But we are still we're starting the second period, so not a great start to the second period. Um, not a really good start, but um, we're on a power play for two minutes. A guy got caught for a hooking on the Calgary Flames. So let's see what we can actually do with this power play. With the last one, we actually scored. So, hopefully, we can actually score this one um, if we can actually keep it in their in their zone. So, there we go. Nice little body check 
just to hit them around, just to know, just give them some sense of, hey, we're here to play. That type of thing. I think I'm going to the penalty box. Nope. Okay, the ref didn't catch that. I'm um, Thank God the ref didn't catch that because I came by and I actually hit the guy that didn't have the puck, so. Oh, come on, get through. What's that? Okay, we did face off. <laughs> We're gonna face off in the zone. That'll be good enough for the next uh, for the next line, for the the second line of the power play. So let's see what our team can actually do. All right, we get another goal, but also they do. But they're they're also on the power play now. For oh my God, we're taking the face off, boys! Look at it. We're actually taking the face off. Can you guys believe it? Oh my God, we lost too. Also, because I didn't really make my guy. I didn't really train up my guy for doing face-offs. Actually, I didn't really train him up doing face-offs. Okay, we absolutely hit the net there. We absolutely got smashed by the goalie. <laughs> What's up with that? Oh man, come on number nine, get it out. There we go. Alright, I'm going to keep on um, chasing the puck because you never know. Um, you might get the puck or not, so... Who we got in that? Oh, hello, Buck? Okay. All right, next shift. Let's see what we, or let's see what my team can do when I'm on the bench. Absolutely nothing. But at least they didn't get another goal. There we go. Okay, the coach wants to talk to us. What, is, what does he want? With this weird, weird haircut. With this weird haircut. Like, it's all shaved around, but at the top, the hair is just sticking up. I don't know if it's just this game. Or anything, but um, it's weird. Every coach has that for some reason in this game too. It's absolutely weird. I don't know if it's just in the Xbox version. I don't know if the PlayStation version looks differently. Or the coach looks differently in the playoffs or in the PlayStation version. Oh my God! We get a backhander goal. Did you guys see that? It was actually flopping in. It actually flopped in this time. The moose is going crazy. I don't know that mascot's name. Uh, I, I believe it's just moose, isn't it? Man, I just don't know anything about Winnipeg Jets, really. Um, but anyways, we get the little backhand goal back and forth right there. And it just, it just flops right in. It just flops right in. And the coach is absolutely happy. There we go. We kept up the pressure. And uh, this is going to help us get the win. Hopefully, hopefully this will give my team some momentum to actually stop some pucks, especially the goalie, because we're tied now. We're tied now, so we don't need like we definitely need to push to get this lead. But um, oh my God, we get a hat trick! We get our first playoff hat trick. This is probably one of my best playoff videos probably ever made especially in NHL 21 because we haven't made a playoff video in this so that's our <laughs> we got a hat trick we're absolutely on fire I believe in the last episode too we are absolutely on fire we're actually just killing it killing it and there we go we get a hat trick in the playoffs boys let's get this thing rolling let's get this thing rolling all right I'm glad I'm making one video per one game because all these games are going to be really, really exciting to watch. And I'm hoping they actually win the Stanley Cup. So by this time, by the amount of videos that I'm going to make, it really depends on if we're going to be the team out for nothing or just anything like that. So we're probably going to be to episode 80. By the time the playoffs or the playoff finals or the Stanley Cup finals, I believe it might be episode 80 since I'm doing um, one game per video. Uh, we might begin to episode 80, which is very close to episode 100, which I have never made to episode 100 in an NHL game since like NHL 17 or NHL 16 around there. I haven't made any more than 100 videos in an NHL game since which is absolutely insane I hit the post I hit the post for our fourth goal 
but we get the assist. We're up by two against the Calgary Flames here, boys. Oh my God. All right, two minutes left, and it's only the second period. It's only the second period, too. Oh my God, we're absolutely killing it. Can we get another assist? Oh, pass to the slot. Almost. So close. But no cigar. All right, let's see what we can actually do here. We got 22 seconds left in the four on four. Can absolutely help us get another goal here. Could absolutely help us. All right. I'm glad I didn't go for that. I'm glad I went for the uh, the skate up. Oh, I tried to get through our teammates' legs. Did not work. Did not work. But we get a face off in their zone. Three seconds left in the four on four. Two minutes left in the second period. Let's see what the team can do. Absolutely hold the lead, which is amazing. I'll see you guys when we get into the third and final period. All right, guys, we're jumping into the third and final period now. As you guys know, we're absolutely dominating this game right here. We're absolutely dominating the Calgary Flames. I don't know if I can make that as a as a title for a YouTube video, dominating. Um, I don't know if I could do that, but if YouTube Intermit like put this new thing in, which it makes it easier for for content creators um, that monetize their videos to make sure they're actually uh, properly like you can actually monetize them and everything like that. They introduced this new one where they check your video. They pre-check your video for you, which is awesome. So like when the video is done uh, rendering in standard definition, YouTube checks the video if you can actually if you can actually monetize it, which is actually cool. So I had this title for this one video that I uploaded in like I think I think this week. I recorded my videos like a week ahead. So I'm kind of I'm kind of over uh, like I'm overworked right now. Not overworked, but like I have so many videos recorded that I don't know what's going up and what's staying up and all that stuff. But anyway, so I had a video. I had a title. I don't know what the title was. But I had to change it because YouTube checked it and said, yeah, this wasn't proper. So I had to change it, which is awesome. I'm glad they introduced that because it makes it a little bit easier. It makes it less worrying to um, to check all that stuff. So if you're, if you're a YouTuber and you have monetized your videos, you know the process to go through to, to when you upload. You got to check all this, check all that, check all this. Like, it's absolutely insane. But the way they can make it more streamlined for for YouTubers and for content creators um, will be just even better. So, but anyways, we're absolutely dominating. Like I said before, I think I'm just going to name this our first playoff game or something like that. Or we absolutely, I can't, I can't put killed it. I know I can't put that. Um, I know I can put that because that's. Whew, that's a little risky, but let's see what we can actually do here. Let's get another pass across. Oh, almost. We almost did. All right. He's holding me, Ref. He's holding me like so much for so long there. Oh, man. So you guys might see some extra videos on this channel being uploaded next side the episodes of the videos like, um, I believe it was um, one of my NHL be a goalie videos that I did this week. I uploaded like a short video. Um, YouTube has these like these new a new thing called shorts. So I just I just wanted to see if it actually works out for my channel. See if you guys enjoy or if, like obviously if we bring in more subscribers and all that stuff, bring more people in to watch my videos. By doing that, then obviously I'll try to find a clip in each video um, to actually make that and. I believe with that NHL be a goalie video that was like did it cross the line or not and as I look at it now I think it did cross the line but in the video um, in the video I kept on saying like it didn't cross the line it didn't cross the line but as I looked at the video more and more um, it looked like it did cross the line but you guys can tell me in the comments below and what you guys think if it did cross the line or not in that video um, you guys probably already probably already answered my question for that video so but anyways we're coming up to the end here of game number one um we absolutely killed it like we absolutely killed it patrick line with the goal 
he couldn't I could ask for the pass but I'll give him a goal I will give him a goal since he's no longer in the Winnipeg Jets in real life I'll give him a Winnipeg Jet goal all right let's see what uh oh my god we can actually uh, actually score ourselves because they pulled the goalie but um it's only two seconds left all right guys Hopefully you guys enjoyed game number one of the playoffs. If you did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. My name is Justin. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Yeah, straight from the nozzle, end of the night, end up horizontal. They know they want something.